Welcome to Ilford County High School. We are a selective grammar school for boys and we're a happy, high-performing academic school. If you attend Ilford County High School, we will ask you to invest in our key values of integrity, courtesy, hard work and success. Integrity is more than telling the truth. It's about doing the right thing, even when it's difficult. Courtesy and good manners will take you everywhere and unlock doors that qualifications cannot unlock. Hard work is about trying your best and being willing to give new ideas and opportunities a go, even when work is challenging and difficult. Success is not just about qualifications, although they are important, but through teamwork, sport, debate and music, you'll be able to show your talents in a variety of different ways. The vast majority of the boys in our school have been members of our school community for seven years. Results in 2020 were excellent, but the pandemic meant the results could not be published. And so I'm using the 2019 results to illustrate our success. You'll see that our GCSE results are excellent with grade four plus in English and maths at 98%. However, the result we're most proud of is our GCSE Progress 8 score, which is currently at 0.89. This shows that even though our young men came to us with high prior attainment, we're still able to add value and we're able to help them achieve their very best grades. As you can see, our A-level results are very good and they're improving year on year. The future is uncertain. Education is what remains after one has forgotten everything one learned at school. That's Albert Einstein. What he says is really important and it's something we need to stop, pause and remember. This is why we strive to develop students' higher order thinking skills through the ICHS Habits of Mind or Habits of Learning. They are skills that are just as important as educational qualifications and they allow our young men to access the very highest grades. If you want to walk through these doors of opportunity, you need to get involved. There are lots of opportunities in schools, such as clubs, society, leadership opportunities and volunteering. But remember, it's not just about what you do in school that's important. Think about what you do outside of school as well. Whether that's football, rugby, cricket, chess, karate, Pokemon cards, what it is doesn't matter, but be passionate about your chosen subjects. Get involved, have fun. It's what makes you interesting and makes others interested in you. Our curriculum is divided into three key stages. Key stage three lasts through years seven, eight and nine, year nine being the foundation year for GCSE. Key Stage 4 starts in Year 10 and carries forward to Year 11 and Key Stage 5 is Years 12 and 13 where our students study for their A-levels. In Key Stage 3, in Years 7 and 8, our students follow the National Curriculum – English, Maths, Science and PSHE as well as subjects like History, Geography and RS. French, German or Spanish – all boys study two languages – Technology, computing, art, oracy and PE are also key subjects to study. In our foundation year, year nine, the boys continue to follow the national curriculum, but they will begin their transition to GCSE. Biology, chemistry and physics are studied as separate subjects and students have an opportunity to choose their creative option and their language option for GCSE. They pick which two subjects they wish to study for the next three years. All our students follow the English Baccalaureate. We call it English Baccalaureate Plus because we add a creative option to help develop students' higher order thinking skills. The boys study maths, English language and literature, biology, chemistry and physics are separate subjects. All students study either French, German or Spanish, a creative subject such as art, music, PE, technology or food, a humanities subject, history or geography, and a free subject of their choice, computing, economics, or one of the other subjects above. Students also participate in non-examinational PE and PSHE. They take a short course GCSE in RS at the end of year 10. 
When students reach Key Stage 5, they opt to take either a 3 A-level pathway or a 4 A-level pathway. They also undertake pastoral and enrichment activities to enhance their study programme. The house system is a vital element of life at ICHS. We have three houses, eagles, falcons and hawks, and they run right the way through from year 7 to year 13. They provide high quality pastoral care and support for our students and provide a sense of belonging to a smaller group within our wider school community. It's a place to provide support for language and special educational needs and also to give opportunities for leadership and to take responsibility. Peer support and positive role models are available and there are opportunities for positive competition and active participation for all our students. If you would like to consider an application to ICHS, admission is by taking the 11 plus examination. You need to register with Redbridge by the 23rd of June, 2021 at 5 p.m. The link is behind me on the PowerPoint. The 11 plus examination date is set for Saturday, the 18th of September, 2021. If you have a question regarding admission, please contact the local authority. I'm going to leave you with a comment from Ofsted. Students' outstanding achievements is as a result of good teaching, together with their own determination, high quality pastoral care, and the high expectations that have been enshrined in this school's ethos. Thank you for listening.